I think beauty is happy. I think beautiful to me is happy right now. Um, and that is very subject to change because I think the way that I've defined beauty has, it has changed as I've grown up. You know, I used to think it was very aesthetic and I think it's much more internal now. And I think it's because I went through some turmoil in my life. And I think having your, your soul and your heart and your mind and your body feel at rest in your life is so beautiful. And I feel that right now. I love, I'm such a girly girl. Like I love, I love makeup and glam and style and all of that. I used to do my friend's makeup for prom and we would like have like the digital cameras and like my girls nights would be like, let's do each other's makeup and just like have photo shoots and then like upload them to MySpace. Like that was what we used to do. Um, I just, I've always loved it. And I've gotten to learn like tips and tricks from working with amazing people throughout my career. And so I feel comfortable enough to do it now. And now getting ready for a show. I don't do it for like award shows or any of that. I, I'm, I'm not that good. Um, but for like before tour, it's like my meditation time. I put my phone down, I'll put like crime junkie on or whatever, and I'll just do my makeup. And it's like this time for myself. And it's also a creative outlet. And it's also just a way of expressing how I'm feeling that day before I go on stage. And yeah, it's it's kind of become a little, a little love of mine. I think being comfortable in your skin is just an evolution because I think it means something different through growing up, you know? Right now, I feel really proud of myself emotionally. I think that's what's making me feel comfortable in my skin right now. But then like there are times where I'll walk off stage and I'll be like, you hit the note and you held the note and you did it and you're gonna find it on TikTok and you're gonna repost it and everyone's gonna know that you hit the note, <laughs> whatever it is. And then I feel really comfy in my skin there. I think it just depends. But right now I think I'm, I'm proud of my emotional journey. I think the biggest lesson that I have learned about love is the greatest gift you can give yourself after something doesn't go like you thought it would is to stay soft. And what I mean by that is it's really easy when a relationship doesn't go how you think it's going to, um, to like put up walls and picket fences and barbed wire up top um, because you don't want to get hurt again. And I think a real gift you can give yourself is to stay soft because you never know, you know, you never know when you're going to find it again. And I think the whole point of life is love. And I'm a, I'm a heart first girly. We all know this. Like I've written about like blissfully and blindly following my heart into the abyss my whole career and I will continue to do that hopefully till the day I die. I put out like a proper record called Subject to Change in September and that was the album that I like spent two years on and like you know put put this 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 brain space into that wasn't just like I want to write songs about my life but I also like I want these to sound glossy enough for the radio. I want these to sound big enough to like translate in these shows with this production. Um, and then, you know, obviously like I had a lot of life go on and I wrote about it cause that's what I've always done since I was a kiddo. And it was the first time that I got back to just like the filterless way of making music. And I just did it for me, like really, really selfishly. And I really thought I would put it out and move on. And that's not happening that way. So I, I feel like I'm playing emotional catch up in the best way. We play the part five nights, but we were never there on the weekends, baby. There is something that happens when I am singing Penthouse where it is like a guttural moment with every woman that's in the room relating to some heartbreak that we've experienced, you know? Cause it's, I obviously wrote this EP about my divorce, but like heartbreak is heartbreak, you know, and like breakups are breakups. And so I think there's, even though it's like really specific to my journey, I think it's a really broad experience that we have. Um, and so that song in particular, playing it live is like, there's this one part where I sing, I kissed someone new last night and now I don't know when you're sleeping, baby. And people just, um, I, yeah, I, it's a, it's a moment that I look forward to every night. Heartbreak and big life changes in general, it can feel so daunting and it can feel really, really isolating when you're in it. And to me, I think music is such a, um, like a, a communal um, 
just joy and being able to connect on something that can feel so isolating with so many people every night. It's like a really healing thing. It has been a really crazy few months, really, really busy in the best kind of ways. My summer actually, I get done touring for like the first week of July and I get to just go home for a second. I haven't had a summer um, in my new house yet and I'm really excited to like come off this crazy few months and feel hopefully really accomplished and be able to like go home to my dog and my friends and just like reset and like and have a summer in Nashville.